Hello everyone, and welcome to another video in our devlog series for Grounded. Let's take time together to go over some of the new content and features that came with today's 0.8.0 update. My name is Shyla Schofield, and I am the social media manager here at Obsidian Entertainment. Now let's get started. Let's kick this vlog off with some new content you're going to find in the game the next time you log in. You will now have the ability to craft a door frame, which is sure to come in handy the next time you want to polish up some entryways inside your base, or just don't want to have to worry about those pesky doors getting in the way. New triangle stem walls and inverted triangle stem walls are also available to build, allowing you more opportunities to let your base creativity fly. Speaking of all that creativity you have, we have been hard at work on the first phase of the new photo mode for all of you. This tool has a lot of neat options to allow you to really customize your images, and we know you're all about to blow us away with some amazing shots. Please, share them with us, we really want to see them. This mode is currently only available in single player games, but we will continue to develop this feature over time with your feedback and suggestions, of course. To wrap this section up, let's talk security. We have now enabled password capabilities for online games, so that way you don't have to worry about who will be joining you. Just set up a password, give it to your friends, and wait for them to join your game. This update also brings with it changes made to the backyard that are sure to improve your time there and help prepare you for bigger things to come in the future. The first involving bows in the game. Not only have we been working on improving aiming in third person camera, but we also added the ability to pick up arrows simply by running over them. No more asking your friends to wait for you or putting your plans on hold while you spend precious time picking up every arrow individually. Now you can just run over them and boop, into your inventory they go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Speaking of lemons, that reminds me that we have made changes to drinking dirty water in the game. Don't do it. Well, you can't, but now you'll get sick. The more dirty water you drink, the sicker you'll become until you sleep. So it might be time to start investing in more canteens and water containers to keep some extra drinks on hand along with making sure that you have enough to drink when you go out. You'll also want to make sure that you have the right armor for your adventures. If you're like me, you love having the armor dummies around to show off your cool sets, but hate the time it takes to remove everything off the dummy to put it on. Well, that's about to change because now with the click of a button or two, you and the dummy will swap clothes. Now if only I could decide what to eat that quickly. Playing with friends just got a tad bit easier, as we have been working on ways to not only declutter your UI, as you will see an icon of the character instead of their name when not directly looking at them while playing with them, but to help give you valuable information when adventuring together, such as a revive timer. Now, when you or your friend goes down, a revival timer will display under their name along with a few stars to show that they've been knocked down. This way, you'll know how much time you have to revive them before they move on to that big matchbox in the sky. We've also made it so that way you'll have a visual cue when your friend is looking in a menu. This way you'll know when they're ready for the next big hunt. Lastly, to make repairing around your base a little bit easier, we've added a feature which will show you which nearby buildings need repairing when you pull out the tool. Time to get to work! Now. Let's talk about our happy little friends and what changes you may find the next time you log into the game, starting with the bees. We've made improvements to the way bees carry and drop pollen in the yard, meaning you should start to see more of it. That's right, pollen for you, pollen for me, and pollen for the bees. Until I whack them and knock it off so I can keep it for myself, that is. Speaking of whacking things, the next time you go to whack a ladybug, you may find that they have been training when not hunting aphids. They now have a new set of attacks, making them more fun to fight and slightly deadlier than ever before. 
Infected weevils can now run faster, so that's cool. And we've made changes to the combat music when fighting a spider, because why not? Also, I don't want to forget to tell you that we've made it so that way big pebbles in the yard will now respawn. Seems a little odd when you think about rocks regenerating, so I try not to. Trust me when I say that there's a lot more that happened with this update that I couldn't cover in this vlog, such as changes to the smoothie station, and some awesome bug fixes and more. So please check out the full patch notes to see everything that was included that I didn't talk about. The team is busy planning out the future for Grounded and are hard at work putting together a larger update you'll see later. So stay tuned for that and keep sharing your feedback and suggestions. We have been overwhelmed with the support you have shown us during this game preview early access development period. I want to thank you for everything you have done for us. We will continue to work on bringing more things to life in the backyard. I want to let you know that you may notice some small changes being made with these updates as we prepare for bigger things down the line. So we would like to apologize if these changes affect your bases. We are trying our best to make sure that what we do doesn't interrupt your play, but there is always a risk and we want to thank you for your understanding. As always, we look forward to hearing your feedback, so if you haven't, Join one of our many communities listed in the description of the video and reach out to us. We are listening. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you out in the backyard. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay grounded.